How you doing, everybody? Uh, Randy Richard in the shop. So what I got, what I got for you here today is uh, another tool uh, making a deal uh, video. So here's a boring head. This is uh, probably an Enco one or something. Uh, it came with my mill, and uh, when I bought my mill, but it has an R8 on it. But it's just your standard with a two-inch boring head type setup with half inch holes. So I'm going to show you, we're going to make one of these. This is a boring insert holded holder for, uh, as a boring tool. Goes right in uh, half inch holes. Uh, it has a flat on it to when you tighten it. So when you sit down a set screw and it will index it uh, with the same uh, axis of the boring head. Go right in there, and uh, then it's adjustable. It goes in any of the holes, so you can vary that. You could even put it in uh, one of these upper holes if you wanted to, and turn it in the opposite direction if you really wanted to get wide. Big, big, big hole. So let's uh let's make this. Now you can buy these. Uh, I saw them somewhere. Trying to think of the website I saw them on, um, and I think that was only around thirty-two dollars. Not not very much. So, but you know, I had some nice material. The, I had some of the forty-one forty, a little bit, a chunk of it left. Uh, so, you know, spent a couple hours, and uh, I decided to make this make one of these up. Uh, I could use it. So, uh, like I said, not a big savings or anything, but a little bit. Takes the same insert I put on the dovetail cutter. So uh, the TBGB 321 or 3, 322, either one you can use. Uh, that's just the radius difference on the tip. So, so anyway, let's go and make it. And uh, I got drawings of it and everything. So if uh, somebody wants a drawing, email me. I will send a drawing if you're interested. And uh, it, uh, it's going to work out. I have not tested it yet, but I am going to soon. So, thanks a lot, you guys. Uh, I, I am selling the dovetail cutters. Uh, as a, just a reminder, information's in the description on the video. Email me if you're interested uh, for all that information. Anyway, thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. This is a boring tool for the boring head. I'm going to make this. This is a, I, I need a better uh, boring setup than the Chinese ones I have. Uh, they're pieces of junk, so I'm just going to make something up. This is a half inch shank up here, a little flat spot on it to clamp it into the right position in the boring head so, so that when you adjust the boring head, it actually moves that distance uh, so it's indexed properly. We're going to make it out of uh, some uh, alloy steel, 4140 pre-hardened chrome molly. It, good stuff, nice and stout, uh, very stiff, 140,000 PSI tensile strength material. So we're going to use a TBGB 321. It's a TPGB 321 insert for this. And uh, you can see that notch there uh, where the insert will sit. This will be the same insert I use for my dovetail cutters. That way I kind of keep everything the same, which is kind of nice. This will be about, this will be a little less than an inch and a quarter, half inch shank, and a nice little cutout. And you can see the con profile there. Pretty, uh, really, it's pretty simple. Uh, pretty simple to make. Uh, it shouldn't take us too long to do. Hardest part will be actually probably milling the slot out. Uh, I'll probably hog it out with a quarter inch uh, end mill, I think, and then uh, come in and with a small end mill and machine the rest here. Okay, so that's the tool. We're going to make that up and have a new tool for the boring head. Okay, we got a piece of inch and a quarter. 4140 in there pre-hardened. St same stuff I make the 
Dovetail cutters from. Now you notice this stuff. So this has been heat treated and then annealed and the hardness changes. You can see uh, as you get deeper into the metal and it's softer in the center. And so uh, it's, it's kind of tough to get a real perfect finish on the end of this stuff. Uh, this isn't this isn't too bad. I could do better than that. I, should, I, I turned it kind of slow. Uh, I usually turn this up at a, uh, 12, about 1200 RPM and uh, cut pretty quick now that that will be fine so we're going to go down there uh, inch and a, inch and a eighth or so Just get it cleaned up. RPM up. Okay, 1200, 1200 RPM and about 10,500 uh, feed rate here. It's those pretty and 30,000 depth of cut WMMG. 432 uh, insert there, a Kyocera one, and it does a beautiful chip, usually. There we go, nice flying chip there. And it leaves a really nice finish. There we go, 30,000 depth of cut. That's 60,000 total. Leaves a beautiful finish, and you can get you get through the metal pretty quick. Uh, and uh, you can see you usually get about a chip like this, about an inch long, inch and a quarter, nice and blue, and just a perfect little chip. Usually hotter than hell. <laughs>
half an inch is what we're looking for so let me get a measurement where we're at had a metric couple more cuts no measure to a final Okay, we want to take 40 thousandths off. See how we did. Might be a couple over. Yeah. So 503, 5029, uh, pretty straight. Uh, I'll just leave it there and I'll just, uh, I'll emery that down off. Uh, Take that down with some emery, emery here. A little bit to go. Okay, we buffed her down a little bit and we got a really, really nice fit there on, on the boring head. See, it will test all the holes. Yeah. Oh, they're screwing away on that one. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice fit though. That'll be perfect. So what we'll we'll end up doing is we'll end up putting a little flat on here uh, when we get in in the mill for an orientation flat when we when we go to mill the rest of this. So we're going to turn this around 
and grab it on the other end. Now, as far as concentricity goes uh, about this, this is going in a boring head. Uh, so this does not have to be perfectly concentric with this. So we don't need to turn it. Uh, but since we can just, we don't have to dial it in. We can just throw it in there. It it might be off a thousand, a couple thousandths at the usually at the very most uh, when I in my three jaw here. So I'm I'm good with that because of, of where it's being used for. Okay, so I'm only looking for an inch and three quarters on here, and uh, I've got like two and just shy of an eighth. So we'll be uh, I'm gonna hog off some of that off the end. So I pulled it out about an eighth of an inch from the chuck, so I have some room. It's actually turning really true. idea where we're at take off 34 So I shoot for one, two. If we're within ten, I'm happy. It, it's not a critical dimension. Not too critical, so that's pretty good.
I just wanted to polish this in and that chamfer a little bit. So uh, it's just a lot easier to do now because we're, we're going to mill off right down here to the to the center line, and uh, it'd be kind of tough to do after it's uh, after it's all milled. Um, alrighty, let's see. We're gonna we we should clean up that top edge. I'll, I'm just gonna pop it around and put a little chamfer on that other edge. Just do a little polish on that face. Okay. Well, uh, we'll do some milling, I think. <laughs> 